In this video, we're going to be going over the best money making methods in GTA 5 Online that will allow you to make more than $1.5 million per hour. But before we get into the video, I just want to remind you to smash that subscribe button. It's super easy and it really helps out the channel, so please just take a second and make sure you're subscribed. Also, I'm launching a Discord server where people can talk about GTA, and there's a link to it in the description below. I'm going to be doing Great White Shark Card giveaways starting later this month, and each Great White Shark Card is worth more than $1 million in the game and it's completely free to enter. All you need to do is join the Discord server and react to the giveaway channel. Since the server is brand new, you have a pretty good chance at winning the giveaway, so I would definitely check that out if I were you, because it's literally free money. Just to make things clear before we get into the rest of the guide, I wanted to say that this is not a beginner guide. I already made one of those, and if you're new to GTA Online, you can check it out on your screen right now. This video is a guide for people that already have a little bit of money in GTA Online, and are looking for the most efficient way to make money in the game. For this method to work, there are a few things you'll need first. If you're a solo player, you're gonna need the Kosaka, a bunker with the equipment and staff upgrades, and a nightclub with the equipment upgrade. If you play with friends, you'll need the same things as the solo players, but you'll also need a cocaine lockup, a counterfeit cash factory, and a meth lab with the equipment and staff upgrades. It's okay if you don't have everything I mentioned, and I'll suggest some alternatives you can use later in the video. This money making method works in a simple 3 step cycle, with only a few tweaks depending on whether or not you're a solo player. The first step of this cycle is pretty simple, all you need to do is resupply your businesses. For solo players, this just includes the bunker, since the nightclub restocks itself as long as you have your technicians assigned to collecting products. For people that play with friends, it's the same thing except you also have to resupply the cocaine lockup, meth lab, and counterfeit cash factory. Traveling to all these locations might be a bit time consuming, especially if they're really far away from each other, but there is a way to get around this problem. If you own an arcade, you can purchase the Master Control Terminal, which allows you to check up on and resupply all of your businesses from a single location. This will save you a ton of time, and if you have the money to spare, it's definitely worth the investment. The next step of the cycle is the backbone of the money making method, which is the Kaoprico Heist. The Kaoprico Heist is the most profitable heist in the game. You need the Kosaka in order to start the heist. But if you don't have one yet, it's okay. You can just do the Diamond Casino Heist instead if you have an arcade until you save up the money. The Diamond Casino Heist is a bit less profitable and less efficient, especially for solo players, since the finale requires two people. But it's not that big of a deal, and you should be able to afford the Kosaka after just one or two heists. The Kaoprico Heist and its setup missions generally take around an hour and 15 minutes to complete but it is possible to do it in under an hour. And you can usually make between 1.25 and 1.75 million dollars per heist, depending on the vault content. In order to do the heist that quickly, you should only do the required prep since you really don't need any of the other ones after you've done the heist a few times and learn what to do. I've got a guide for the heist, and you can check it out in the link in the description below after this video. Once you've completed the Kaoprico heist, you should be at about an hour and 15 minutes into the cycle. And now you're ready for the final part of the method. For solo players, this involves selling either your bunker or nightclub stock, and alternating between the two each cycle to give them enough time to restock sufficiently. As a solo player, you need to make sure that you sell your bunker stock whenever it reaches the max amount it can hold for one cell vehicle, which is 1.5 bars of stock. Because while it is possible to complete the mission with multiple cell vehicles, it ends up taking way too much time and causes issues with efficiency for this method. For the nightclub, you'll always be able to sell your stock by yourself, since nightclub cell missions only ever have one cell vehicle regardless of how much stock you're selling. If you play with friends, it's pretty much the same thing, except you're going to be alternating between selling all 5 businesses to give each business a chance to fully restock by the time you need to sell it again. This will make it so the businesses have 4 cell vehicles in the mission, so make sure you have at least 3 friends to help you sell your stock, because otherwise you'll run into the efficiency issues that I mentioned earlier. The main reason why efficiency is so key to this part of the cycle is because you must complete the sell machine and repeat step 1 before the cooldown timer for the Kaoprico heist runs out. Once the timer runs out, you'll receive a call from Pavel telling you you can redo the heist on hard mode, which will allow you to make even more money from the heist. At this point, the cycle just keeps repeating itself, but just to clarify things, I'm going to briefly go over all the steps in case anything was unclear. The first step of the cycle is that you restock your businesses. Pretty simple, that's that. The second step is that you do the Kaoprico heist, which should take you a little bit more than an hour. After the heist, quickly sell one of your businesses and make sure you rotate between them to maximize efficiency. Then begin the cycle again and restock your businesses quickly to give you enough time to start the heist on hard mode. Thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if this video helped you out, and check out one of these videos next.